Hello, welcome to previous the tutor. In this video, I'll be talking about the periodic table. So if you have a periodic table with you, it will be very easy for you to answer this question. I don't have a periodic table with me, but I'll be using the one which is printed. So I cannot display a periodic table here. So make sure when you're answering this question, you have a periodic table by you. It says use the periodic table to help you answer the following questions about the element selenium atomic number of 34. Now, in which period is selenium? Now we know that, I'm just going to give an introduction. We know that the laws that are going like this, these are to call period. And the, these columns, those are to call group. So when we look at selenium, selenium is actually in period 4 of the periodic table. So I mean these columns, so it's in period 4 of the periodic table. So A says it's in period 4. Then B, in an atom of selenium, how many valence electrons are present? Now, when you talk of valence electron, we're talking about the electrons in the outermost shell. So, with selenium, you know that with atomic number 34, it has got electronic configuration of 2 to 8 to 18 to 6. So, when you add this, it should give you 34. So, what are we saying? How many electrons does it have in the outermost shell? Six. So, the answer here is six. To answer B, B2, it says neutrons present. We know that selenium has got a mass number of uh, 79. Sorry, 79. And atomic number of 34. How do we find the number of neutrons? We know that the nucleus of an atom has got protons and neutrons. Now, we know that these, they add up to what to call the mass number, in this case, which is 79. Proton number is the same as the atomic number, which is 34. So to find the value of N, we are simply saying 79 minus 34, which gives us 45. And part C is 45 neutrons. Part C says, would you expect selenium to be a metal or a non-metal? Give a reason for your answer. Now, we know that selenium is now in group 6, and elements in group 6, they are all non-metals. So it's, it's actually, oh, this is part 2, sorry. So part C is a non-metal. Why? It has got more than 4, right? So it has got a number of greater than 4 electrons in the outer shell. It has got 6. So the reason is it has got more more than four electrons in its outermost shell. Write the formula of the compound formed between selenium and calcium. You know that calcium is in group two, so it goes the variance of two. And know that selenium is in group six, so it is gaining two electrons. So in a cross multiply, we are going to have calcium and Se. We're going to have that compound and as the formula. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And previously, tutor. See you in the next video. Peace.